Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Chicken Police Paint It Red. Uh, this is a game I've had my eye on for a little while now, since just before Christmas. And it looks really, really cool. It's basically like a little noir adventure where you play as animals and stuff. And <laughs> honestly, it just looks fascinating to me. So I had to play it for the channel. It just looks really, really, really awesome. So we're going to jump in. New game, see what this is all about. I literally have no idea what any of it is about. Um, I believe someone gets murdered or something. That's as much as I know really about it all. So, new game. I've seen some screenshots and stuff. But that's about it. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes. But I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. An investigator for 20 years. And once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. One half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Pretty cool uh, intro, I'm expect? hooked already. We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. What could possibly go wrong? I am really feeling this already. I'm really excited. This is really awesome. I love it. It's so bizarre, but it's great. Oh, crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. <laughs> it's great! I love the vibe, it's so noir, it's terrific! Okay, here we go. Oh wow, look, it's like first person almost. So we've got things we can interact with and look at. So it is a point and click game. But yeah, I just, I had to play this. Books I'm never going to read. Maybe nobody ever has. Yeah, who knows? Oh, the city's out the window. I Let's look at that. colours anymore. Only emptiness. Everything faded. <sighs> I need another drink. <laughs> Let's take a look at the desk, shall we? Ooh, we can use the phone. Is there anyone we want to call? Don't think so, not yet. Pile of papers. I don't even know what these papers are. Okay, cheap whiskey. <laughs> it's got to be cheap whiskey in the noir genre, hasn't it? Every whiskey has the same colour nowadays. At least in this price range. <laughs> Let's look in this drawer. Oh yeah, nice, a she gun. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but 
You never know. Yeah, so I don't know if there's like moral choices or anything like this in this game. My last, My last cigarette. cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Police badge. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right, can we look at anything else while we're down here? Doesn't look like it. I've got to say this is terrific. I know it's won some awards and things and I can see why I already. I myself I'd write a novel one day. You should. I bet you got some real stories you could tell. Uh, right, there's a cabinet over here. I don't know here. where the key is. Whatever's inside is going to stay there forever. Fair enough. Pictures. Ooh, look at this. The Wild Gentleman. The Wild Gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was. Burned to the ground. I love the story and the lore and everything. It's so story rich, isn't it? We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. Ah, so I wonder if the partner's dead or something, or whether they had a big dispute and fell out. I guess we'll find out. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. Wouldn't be a noir story without him losing his family, would it? The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it. <laughs> or what it had to do with shoes. Oh dear. M.B. Davis. The eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. Sounds like quite the night. We can turn the lights on. Oh, I didn't even realise there was a light there. There we go. Well, that makes things a bit better in here, doesn't it? Right, there's a bedroom door. So what are these then? We've got... Ooh. Look at all this. People. Places. Hotel Atlas, this used to be a nice place. Now, we're competing to see who gets swallowed by decay first. The hotel is winning, but honestly, I'm not that far behind. So we've got a lot of places we can go to as well. Uh, codex. Some stats. Wow. Seems like there's a lot for us to do. Interesting. Uh, and we've also got our inventory here. And our oh, I love the way it opens the bag. That's so cool. I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. I've got to say, first impressions from this in the opening, what, 10 minutes? This is absolutely fantastic. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville <laughs> cop, anyway. I love how it's called Clawville as well. I keep pressing the wrong button there. Sorry, guys. Oh, man, I totally get you. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. I cannot wait to get properly stuck into this. Uh, the wilderness. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm going to end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Probably a good chance, knowing how these things normally go. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. Might want to do some tidying up then. Uh, right, so, let's talk to this person. Ask, Let look, me introduce myself. speak. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. Oh, I love it. You're mistaken, ma'am. Look how cool the characters look as well. So we can do autoplay, we can replay, or we can skip the dialogue. What happens if we do replay? Let me introduce myself. Oh, so you My go all the way back Deborah, to the beginning, okay. Miss Deborah Ibanez. 
You're mistaken, ma'am. So that might be good for looking for clues in what people are saying. I mean, I feel like with my L.A. Noir series, I might have set the bar quite high because I did really well on that. But that was, I would say, a fluke. So don't expect any genius solving of murders or crimes or anything if that's what we got to do in this one. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. I love the jackets and everything, like, it's so well animated. Look at even the creases on the leather jacket, it's incredible. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. And even if you look at, um, was her name Heather on the right? You've got sort of where it goes from a human body to an animal body, and there's sort of like almost a, a patch where it's a little bit of both. It's just so well done. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? We've got the cheapest of whiskeys. I don't, I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one, and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? Sherry is disgusting, by the way. I only ever drunk it once, and it is just nasty. If you insist, but bourbon, please. Ah, huh. thank the wild ones. That's all I have. <laughs> coincidence. Oh, we got a new codex in entry so there. So, come hmm. on, spill it from the beginning. Yeah, what's the story here? Ooh, new personnel info. It's a cutscene, nice. Huh, so... Let's look in our diary and see what we've got here. So, people. Name Deborah Ibanez, species Impala, <laughs> gender female, special feature, pretty and fragile, nothing too special. Okay, so we got a codex entry as well, didn't we? The wild ones. Three gods are revered in most places across the wilderness. They're the great wild ones who make up the holy trinity of creation, destruction and silence. Hariti is the goddess of creation. Tapti is the lord of destruction and, well, Nkavatiti? I don't know how to say that. It's the gentlest ghost of silence and nothingness, keeping the balance between creation and destruction in their never-ending conflict. Okay, so there's some sort of like, um, deity sort of thing going on here as well. So, what do we, do we have to get the whiskey? Murky brown swill. I should improve my standards. The voice acting is top-notch though, absolutely love it. Right, so let's look. Oh, so we don't actually have to click, we just Legs have to hover. Go on for days. Deep, dark <laughs> eyes. Silky skin and voice. You're in big trouble, pal. <laughs> uh, question asked, That's speak. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift, then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, Ooh. they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. Interesting. So I noticed as well on the intro, there was a bit of a thing where the colour faded into black and white. So there's something weird going I on, isn't it? I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please, that's why I'm here. Oh, really? New function, questioning. Clues. The victim, a lady, is the target of some strange threats. All of them are written. So they're all written threats, no spoken ones or anything like that. Um, questioning point. Scenes visited, 1 out of 32. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do in this game, which I'm really excited about. I wasn't sure how long it'd be, but it seems like it's a, a really 
good full length game which is excellent so guys i think that's where we'll leave it for the first one but i cannot wait to continue playing this this is absolutely fantastic uh, so if you enjoyed the video hit that like button it really does help youtube to push this out to more people who'd want to see it and who'd want to join our little point and click community that we're building here a big thank you to our patrons arcades games wayne and nate for all the support on my channel i really do appreciate it um and i'll see you all next time for more of this really awesome game that i can't wait to play more of